Welcome back to West Branch. Warriors leading East Liverpool 28-13. Chad Krispinski with you. Our halftime report brought to you by Mahoning County Career and Technical Center and Valley STEM Academy call for a tour today. Team numbers look this way. Plenty of offense. If you like points and yards, you got plenty of that in the first half of play. Quarterback play looks this way. Brock Hill, you're tremendous. 12 of 15, two touchdowns, a buck, 92, and on the ground. Hill, you're also getting it done. 54 yards rushing. Howard Williams with 75. So we're all set for the third quarter. Sit back, relax. Only one of these teams will advance. Keep their postseason run alive. East Liverpool will get the football to start things here in the third quarter. This is Stephen Dorsey, and Dorsey is into that Potter sideline at the 39-yard line. In case you're looking ahead and wondering who advances to where from this point, the winner of this game will play the winner of Ursuline and Villa Angela St. Joe's in the regional quarterfinal next Saturday night. And so, at the moment, as we're sitting here live, it's 14 to 7, Ursuline with a seven point lead. So we'll see, it could be another all local, local matchup next week. Williams to throw, Williams dumps it off and it is incomplete and then almost intercepted. Diving for that one, Nick Wilson, second and 10. In the first play of the uh, second half, and he wants to go to the air. So that's interesting here, and we'll see if he elects to try to get the line of scrimmage going here on play number two. Second and ten from the 39 yard line. Howard Williams takes the snap hill again, go to the air, stepping up. He dumps it off to the near side. Toothman makes the catch, puts on a move, and he is brought down at the 39-yard line for no gain. It's sportsmanship by both sides as Toothman made the catch. And he got right back to the line of scrimmage. Textbook tackle by Jed Smith. It'll be third and ten from the 39. Good job by the defensive secondary of the West Branch Warriors. There's just nothing open downfield right now for the Potters, and Howard Williams has to check down most of his throws to his running back, so tip your cap to that defensive secondary. Potters need to convert. Williams fakes the handoff and then spins free. Williams trying to find an opening, and it never comes as he is dropped in the backfield. It was a slew of green jerseys right there for West Branch. Let's see who it was that ended up getting to him when it was all said and done. There to bring him down first, Andrew Coffey, who's had a monster first half covered by Josh Gregory. And now the punt team comes out. The punt group has had a problem tonight, setting up a West Branch touchdown. Another problem with the snap. Williams picks it up. He'll have to get rid of it, and he's dropped again at the 25-yard line. Bringing him down, Stephen Mara. So special teams' troubles rear their head again. It's not a very good snap here. It goes about halfway, and then dribbles back to Howard Williams. And at that point, he does not field it cleanly, and he's kind of on an island and not exactly what Coach Ludwig had in mind, and you're going to put your defense on the field in bad position right here. We'll see if they can come through. They've been able to come through all night, first and 10 from the 25-yard line. Brock Hillier will bring a man in motion. And we have a whistle and a timeout called by West Branch with 10-15 left to play. We'll take it as well. 28-13 on the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. Check out the all-new GMC Sierra at Stadium GM in Salem.
Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. When in need of a lawyer, entrust your representation to the attorneys at Ingram, Cassis & Grimm. Ingram, Cassis & Grimm is a local law firm backed by over 100 years of combined legal experience, providing a wide range of legal services to private citizens and local businesses. Whether you or a loved one is the victim of medical negligence, injured in a car accident, or the police are knocking at your door, Ingram, Cassis & Grimm will be there for you in your time of need. Receive the personal service and zealous representation you deserve. Call Ingram, Cassis & Grimm today to speak with an attorney. Welcome back. Alec Wilson just ripped off another long one for West Branch as they continue to pick up yards at will. And it's a gain of nine yards setting up. A second down in one play, whether it's through the air or on the ground. The Warriors can do it all. That's why they come into this one undefeated. Wilson puts his head down. Refuses to go down. He's to the 15, and he is pushed out of bounds after taking a couple of wicked licks. And it is another first down for West Branch. If you're the Potter defense, you must get multiple guys to the ball carrier, to Wilson, and gang tackle him and get him to the ground. First and goal from the nine. Hillier to throw. Looking, floating, end zone, and it is knocked away. Incomplete. Pass was intended for Gregory on in coverage. Braden Wright for East Liverpool. And it'll be second down and goal, but Hillier throws a really pretty ball. No question about it. Good defensive play there, just trying to jar that ball loose. Second down and goal. 9.26 to play in the third quarter on a chilly night in Beloit. One back in the backfield, it's Alec Wilson. Hillier takes the snap. He will tuck it. He will run. And he will not get very far. In fact, he'll lose some yardage on the play. Brought down by Eric Williams. That time, Eric Williams read the quarterback draw, and he came up and, and made a short tackle on Brock Hillier to limit him to just a few yards on that play. Third down and goal now from the 10, following a loss of one. Hillier rolling to the right side under duress. Hillier trying to find a seam, and he is ripped down again. Second straight play by Williams. It'll set up a fourth down play. The pressure coming from East Liverpool's Nicky Mapp. Good job by Williams. Sure tackle. And he looks pretty good playing in that defensive secondary for the Potters. Good technique, good form, and, and good finish there. So heading out is Benjamin Tolson for a 26-yard field goal attempt from the right hash. Snap is back. It's a fake. Jed Smith rolling underhanded toss. And... It's incomplete as a flag comes flying in. We said fake, but it was a little bit of a high snap anyway. So not sure if that was a called play or just sort of a fire drill, so to speak. Intentional grounding on the quarterback. Five yards from the spot of the foul. Because you didn't make the line of game, it's going to be first down Liverpool. And I think you hit it right on the nose, Chad. I think he just, you could see the kicker was coming up for it. Yep. And, and he went to the fire call, like you said, and he just didn't have anything there and tried to get rid of it. And good explanation by the referee. And we're going the other way. Good, good stand by the Potter defense. So it could have been a disaster. Turns out working out just fine. No harm, no foul. Back out comes Howard Williams. Potters have got to put something together and start 
getting some points. They were able to do it at the tail end of the second quarter. Williams averaging better than five yards per carry. Williams on the keeper again. There's to the outside and picked up maybe a yard. On their first drive of the second half, Coach Ludwig elect to go with three straight passes. That time he tries to get Howard Williams going, but if I'm Coach Ludwig, I'm trying to get back to my, my read zone and my free back stuff that was working tremendously in the first quarter. We'll officially say no gain on the play. Second down and 10. From the 28-yard line, five wide receivers set. Empty backfield. Williams to throw. On a slant. It is intercepted. Picked off inside the 25. A big-time interception from Brock Smith. One of those young men who is referred to as the heart and soul of the West Branch defensive unit. And the big linebacker came up with the pick. And the Warriors now have another chance to stick it in for the touchdown. Great job by Brock Smith as he's just sitting there. And Howard Williams just never saw him in his pass drop. And he opportunistic INT right there for that defense. See if Brock Hillier will go for it all on this first play following the turnover. Hillier to throw. He's flushed. He tries to dump it off middle of the field. It's off the fingertips of Jackson Hendershot, and it falls to the grass incomplete. And that was a ill-advised throw. I know he's trying to make a play here. He's got a defender on his back. He tries to float it across the middle, which is always dangerous for a quarterback. And luckily, there was no ill effects of that throw. Nicky Mapp knocked it down in coverage. And it'll be second down and 10. Alec Wilson to the right of Hillier. Hillier back to throw. He will run. Puts his head down and rumbles his way to the 20. So they're to keep in the hands of their quarterback here. And it's worked a lot, but I think you're starting to see the East Liverpool Potter defense start to collapse on the quarterback a little bit more than they did in the first half. So an official's timeout, somebody tying their shoe. So it is third down and eight for West Branch. Hillier sends Wilson in motion left to right. Hillier rolling, floating, end zone. And overshoots his intended target out the back end of the end zone. It's a little bit of pressure there. It made Hillier escape to his left. And he tried to look to his intended receiver to the back of the end zone, obviously too far. And he might have been throwing it out of bounds anyway, but safe. Safe play there if that's what he was trying to do. Pass was intended for McKeever. Fourth down and eight. And we'll reset the play clock. So fourth down and eight for the Warriors. We've had a couple of chances, but no points just yet in the second half. Hillier to throw. Pumping. He dumps it off. Wilson makes the catch. Full head of steam. First down and more! And Wilson is in! Touchdown! Alec Wilson with a 20-yard touchdown reception. And West Branch tacks on even more. Brock Hillier finds his check down. Wilson in the flat. And Alec Wilson takes it in. First six there. Great job, great play. And the Warriors strike again. Extra point try coming courtesy of Benjamin Tolson. And the extra point is up and it is good. 35-13 West Branch in the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week.
Stadium GM in Salem carries the longest lasting full size pickups on the road. For the best pizza downtown, visit Avalon Downtown Pizzeria. Dine in and take out is available, and delivery is offered for local businesses. Visit our website for new store hours. Call to place your order. Avalon Downtown Pizzeria on Federal Street. Nothing says value like a Mitsubishi certified pre owned vehicle. All certified pre-owned Mitsubishis have undergone a rigorous 123-point safety inspection, are under five years old, have fewer than 60,000 miles. Top that with our 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty, and you're not just buying a great vehicle, you're also getting peace of mind. They're always in stock and ready to go at Boardman Mitsubishi. Branch offense on display again here in the third quarter. Warriors leading the Potters from East Liverpool 35 13. Corbin Tenafoss boots it downfield. It's hauled in by Eric Williams. Williams finds an opening. He crosses the 30 and he's up near the 33 yard line. Every week we pick a player of the game. It's one player that has made the greatest impact. Sponsored by Nightline Embroidery and Screen Printing, and we'll feature the player of the game every Monday night at 6 o'clock on WKBN 27 First News. So, first and 10 from the 31 yard line. Potter's in some trouble. Howard Williams, convoy of blockers. And he is dropped. Brought down on the play by West Branch's Brock Smith, who had the pick previously to this. We're starting to see the West Branch Warriors load up the box and key on number 10, Howard Williams, and get him down for not many yards. So they're not letting him get those big chunk plays right now. Josh Gregory also helped on the stop. West Branch down in seven. And the give is to Toothman. Toothman breaking tackles. He's to the 40. And he takes a West Branch Warrior with him ahead to the 45 yard line. And that's going to be an East Liverpool first down. Yeah, that was a heck of a run there by Toothman as he takes his hand off and he cuts as soon as he gets it and he gets out the back door there for a big conversion to keep the drive alive. Ridden down by Drew DeShields. First down and 10. They spotted officially at the 44-yard line. And Williams. Again gives to Toothman. There's a wall of West Branch defenders there. And right in the thick of it, again, is Brock Smith. Stephen Mara, also a big part of blowing up that play for a loss of three. Yes, Smith and Mara, they both have a nose for the football. And Brock Smith might have took that one away from Howard Williams, but they have forwarded the ball back to East. East Liverpool, but those two are playing really well right now for that defensive front. We have a whistle and an official's timeout. Another shoestring has come out of order. So we're down to 456 left, second down and a dozen for West Branch. And Williams trying to get a block out in front never materializes. Smith again joined by Jed Smith. And right now if you're the linebacking core or defensive backs you're in number 10 to your side. And once he takes it down you're on a direct B line on an inside out course to take him down. That's exactly what's playing out here. It's going to force the Potters into another third and long here. That's where they cannot afford to live right now. Third down and 10 from the 44-yard line in a 35-13 game 
West Branch with the lead. Howard Williams fakes the handoff and then spins his way free. Williams looking downfield, floats it, and it is incomplete into the far sideline, which will bring up a fourth down and ten play. Pass was intended for Braden Wright. He's going to try to get Williams on the perimeter there to give him a pass run option on third and ten. And just like I said a few times tonight, there's just nobody open downfield on those those plays right now. So good job by the West Branch Warriors as they're looking to get the ball back again. Back deep to return for West Branch, Jed Smith. And another problem area for East Liverpool. And that would be the punt team. We'll try again to get a clean snap back to Howard Williams. There it is. And the kick is away. Smith hauls it in, puts on a move. 25, 30, 35, gets a block, 40. And he's pushed into the West Branch bench. Helped out by one of the medical team members. Good return for West Branch. First down and 10, Warriors. Talked a great deal about the Warriors' offense, but this defensive group has been just as good here tonight. And it's not one person dominating these highlights, as you can see. It's everybody pitching in and helping the cause, playing very good, solid, fundamental defense. No question about it. D-line, linebackers, and the secondary's done a great job playing against that pass all night long. First down in 10 from the 50-yard line for West Branch. Brock Hillier takes the snap, and he turns, and he gives. And Wilson runs down to the 45-yard line. At this point, with a 35-13 lead, West Branch now focused on, you'd imagine, running the ball a little bit more. Yeah, I certainly think so, and we'll see how many more times they want to put Brock Hillier in harm's way with the ball in his hands. Second down and five. Hillier, pump fake, looking to go up top, deep downfield for Wilson. It's incomplete. He had a couple of steps, did Wilson. But the way that Hillier has been throwing the ball, he had a chance to throw another deep touchdown pass. Of course, West Branch coming into this one undefeated at 6-0. and oh. The Warriors have now scored 34 points or more in every single game that they've played this season. As you see the total yardage with what they've been able to put together. And we have a whistle. And a timeout taken by West Branch. It comes with 3-11 left to play here in the third quarter. 35-13. So we gave kudos to the defensive group. But whether it be the deep ball or intermediate routes, West Branch has been on point. It all starts at the quarterback position. And Brock Hillier has been as good as advertised. Throws a perfect ball. Tight spiral every single throw as we watch these. Absolutely. He's got a lot of guys that are doing a lot of good job, good work on the outside. But Brock Hillier is showing you why he is an all-league player. He's got 212 yards, three touchdowns. His ball distribution is on point. He can make every level throw, as, you're, as you talked about. And he's a, he's a, a field general out there. You know, great command of the offense. And he's been a lot of fun right now to take in tonight. Brock Hillier came in five yards shy of 1,300. In terms of passing yardage, he also came in with 467 rushing yards. 13 passing touchdowns, nine rushing touchdowns, and then what he's done here tonight. A couple of rushing touchdowns, a couple of passing touchdowns, and looking to add to it. Here in late in the third quarter, Hillier back to throw, pumping once. He'll fire deep downfield, and it is caught! Nick Wilson has it inside the 15-yard line. 
And it's another West Branch first down. Great job by Nick Wilson as he wins the inside on a skinny post. And Brock Hillier puts it right between the defenders there for a beautiful pitch and catch that keeps the Warriors on the move. First and 10 from the 15-yard line. Brock Hillier, quarterback draw, cuts it back inside, and he is walloped by Toothman. It's a pickup of three yards, second down and seven. He's a tough kid as well. He's taken some licks like that one there. When you're up 35 to 13, you don't necessarily want your quarterback taking those types of shots, but within the scheme of their offense, he may have to. Second down and seven from the 13-yard line. Brock Hillier looking to the end zone. He fires. It is complete inside the five, and it's in. Touchdown! Drew to Shields on the receiving end. Great work there by Hillier as, again, not anybody open downfield, so he's just going to shuffle a little bit in the pocket, finding his open check down, and that goes to the Shields for the touchdown. And this has been an offensive explosion tonight for the Warriors. 41-13 in favor of West Branch. And let's see the offense, it appears, is going to stay out there now. To go for two to make this a 30-point football game. Hillier. Quarterback draw straight up the middle, and he's in. And it is 43-13 with 2.07 to play here in the third quarter. Easy picking there for... Coach Harris's offense as they go to the five wide empty formation, nobody in the middle. And Brock Hillier essentially just walks in there for the two point conversion. What a performance! For this West Branch offensive unit, and they have entertained the home fans. And you have to take your hat off to this group when you think about the reality that prior to this season West Branch had won just two of their previous 13 games dating back to 2018. This is the Warriors first playoff game since 2007. They knocked off John Glenn that year in the regional quarterfinal prior to falling to Licking Valley later in that run they look like a team that is poised to make a long run here in 2020 give the credit to coach harris and his staff and, and the kids for buying in that's that's a tremendous statistic that you got there and this team is doing some big time things here in beloit eric williams up across the 35 to the 36 yard line the area's best football players are part of WKBN's Big 22. It's sponsored by ASECU and Ingram Cassis and Grimm. Head to WKBN.com and click on sports to see the top high school football players from here in the Valley. 43-13, clock is now rolling. 30-point deficit for East Liverpool. Potters keep it to the ground. It is Toothman who's cut down. Contributions from up and down the roster, whether it be offensively or here defensively. What a tackle for Jed Smith. Just got enough. Well done. Jed Smith's job on that play is to come in, up, set the edge, and he forces the running back to cut it up inside. And he does that, and he also makes the tackle. Very impressive. 43-13 inside the final minute of the third with a rolling clock. 
Loose football, and West Branch has recovered. Brock Smith has a pick, and now a fumble recovery. And the Warrior celebration will soon be able to begin. They called the perfect defense on that play. They had a stunt, and they stunted right into it. And they were able to hit the ball carrier as soon as he got it. Josh Gregory with the forced fumble. He punches it right out. Well-performed stunt. And the defense is just playing an excellent game right now for West Branch. I can say your whole team, West, the defense and the offense, have shown up tonight. There's no question about it. Play clock had wound down, and West Branch called a timeout with 18 seconds left in the third. 43-13. So they'll wave the flag off. No delay of game. No foul on the play. Timeout, West Branch. And that's their final timeout of the half. Hey, let's check out some scores from around the area. Crestview rolling past Southeast in the third, 26-0. Garfield 17, Cardinal Mooney 14 in the third quarter. Elsewhere, Ursuline has increased its lead to 21-7 over Villa Angela St. Joe's. It is LeBray 34-27 leaders over Brookfield at the half. Northwest beating up on Gerard 32-14, and it is Norwayne all over Mineral Ridge, 28-6 in the third quarter. Salem leading Poland still, 21-12, there in the third quarter, and Springfield rolling past Western Reserve at last check with a 28-point lead. Here it is 43-13 in favor of West Branch, and we will have the rolling clock. So we go into the fourth quarter. There is the OHSAA, the mercy roll. The rolling clock roll, so to speak, as it starts to roll again as Hillier takes the snap. He wants to throw, lets it rip, and it is caught inside the 20-yard line. There was a penalty flag on the play we'll check it out it was in the backfield so you'd think it was a hold i just read jim gahagan's mouth it's a hold and for a team that throws it as much as west branch to have one holding and for it to come on the last play of the third quarter that's really good work by the offensive line so the third quarter's in the books. East Liverpool is not yet headed across the field, and we're going to march off the penalty yardage. They may have one more untimed They're down. holding offense number 50. It's a 10-yard penalty. Because that foul occurred at the end of a period, we will have one untimed down. So we will have one more play. Second time that we've seen that happen. I think the last time was over at Mollenkopf Stadium, and the... Howland Warren JFK game. So one untimed down. Hillier dumps it off to the near side. McKeever makes the catch, and the third quarter's in the books. All West Branch tonight on the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. Arrive in style with the Cadillac XT5 at Stadium GM in Salem. For the best pizza downtown, visit Avalon Downtown Pizzeria. Dine-in and take-out is available, and delivery is offered for local businesses. Visit our website for new store hours. Call to place your order. Avalon Downtown Pizzeria on Federal Street. As we transitioned into COVID-19, we took a proactive and strategic approach to keeping you, our community, safe. We gained your trust by always being honest and transparent in our communication. As your health system, we commit to always being open and ready to care for you. We will get through this together. At East Liverpool Health System, trust begins here.
Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. The West Branch Warriors are 12 minutes away from advancing to the next round. Tonight's game is their first playoff game since 2007. Second down, upcoming. And 19 for the Warriors. On a rolling clock, Hillier busts it to the near side. Trying to cut the corner, and he is cut down immediately. Brought down on the play by Eric Williams. Good tackle there again by Eric Williams. Yes, he's proven all night long. He's up for the task. And for a sophomore, he's showing his potential for the future. So no gain. It's third down and 19. Again, the rolling clock. Stay in effect while it stays a 30 point game. Third down in long upcoming. This is Hillier incomplete. And one of the few times that we have seen that here tonight, Hillier off the mark. And it appears that the punt team is going to come in. And by my count, this is the first punt of the night. The West Branch, and in punt formation, it is Josh Gregory. It's always a good night when you, first time you send out the punt team, it's the fourth quarter, so I'm sure that makes Coach Harris quite happy. Devin Toothman is back in single safety to return. And this one will roll into the end zone. Boy, that was dangerous. Toothman came very close to touching that thing. No question about it, and that could have been a catastrophic play there. And luckily, it didn't touch him. You see there, he pulls up at just the, the last second there. And that was a good decision. So first and 10. From the 20 yard line, Potters will take over. And this is a tough spot in the game. When the end result is all but decided, and you've got to play it out. Here's Toothman. Around to the right side, knocked out of bounds. The West Branch offense has piled up the points, and that Warrior defense came to play as well. Look at Brock Smith coming up with the pick. Coach has told me he's like the heart and soul of the defense, and how about a fumble recovery as well to boot here in the second half. Everybody getting involved in this playoff, what will be a victory in the not-too-distant future. Howard Williams puts his head down. He's stacked up and pushed backwards. Josh Gregory was the first to get there for West Branch. Good job by Gregory there. Right where he's supposed to be. Does a great job winning his one-on-one -on -one battle. and Takes the quarterback Williams down to the ground. Third down and six. For East Liverpool. Howard Williams will send out two wide receivers to each side. One back in the backfield. Williams is flushed. He's under a lot of pressure. And he is sacked. There for the sack, Josh Meisner. And there was pressure coming from all over the place. Alec Wilson was also there. Along with Cameron Leisure. 
It's an awkward set up there by Williams as he pulled up late and tried to throw back. And by that time, that pass rush was all over him. So he didn't really have a chance there. High punt. Looks like everybody will get away. It'll be first and 10 West Branch when we come back in the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. Check out the all-new GMC Sierra at Stadium GM in Salem. This October, we're helping Mercy Health fight breast cancer in the Valley. For every new Chevy, Buick, or GMC we sell in October, we will donate $50 to the Joni Abdu Comprehensive Breast Care Center at St. Elizabeth Youngstown Hospital. Purchase the all-new 21 Chevy Silverado for 20% off MSRP, or lease the 21 Chevy Silverado as low as $239 a month. Click SweeneyCars.com or stop by Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC. On Market Street in Boardman. It's almost 4x4 four four season at Columbia and Ford, and we've got some great deals to keep you on the road all winter long. Check out this 2016 Ford Escape SE 15488 or this 2018 F-150 STX for 28888. This 2018 Ram 1500 is 26988 and this 2017 Chevy Silverado 1500 29968. At Columbia and Ford, we make 4x4s four affordable. New quarterback in for West Branch. It is Drew DeShields. DeShields turns and gives on a run play up to the 50-yard line. Who faces into the lineup? Tyler Hicks getting a carry. Small in stature, but very speedy. Nice run by Hicks there, taking the, the ball, getting north and south, taking a hit there and falling forward. Well done. 375 total yards for West Branch to Shields is off the mark on that throw. Pass was intended for Josh Gregory. Coach Harris telling me prior to the game that the Shields have some time at quarterback this year and when Brock Hillier went down in a game and he came in, he performed pretty well. Certainly not scared of the of the moment. And you know, he's the future quarterback. Here in Beloit. Second down and 10. The Shields gives to Hicks. Hicks finds an opening and he is whacked down. There's a penalty flag that comes in from the near side. As the clock stops with 536 left. Offense number 56. 10 yards from the spot of the foul. We'll march the yardage backwards as this fourth quarter clock winds down. West Branch will be scoreboard watching in the next short while to see who will be next on the playoff docket, be it Ursuline or Villa Angeles St. Joe's in the regional quarterfinals next Saturday. The give again is to Hicks. Hicks puts his head down and he's brought down at the 47 yard line. Good inside run there by Hicks as he is a senior, so he's getting some some runs in here on a playoff game in his last season, so it's good to see. Third down and seven for West Branch to Shields. We'll go to the air. The Shields lets it rip, and it's a first down. Complete to Gregory will keep the drive alive. And a chance for West Branch just to keep the ball and run this thing out. You saw on display there a nice arm from Drew DeShields. He stands in the pocket and delivers an absolute strike there to his friend Josh Gregory. First and 10 from the 36-yard line. Hicks cuts it back inside, keeping the legs turning. And he's knocked down at the 29-yard line. They may give him the 28. And Hicks picking up 
right where he left off, just one play ago. As he gets north and south right there, love to see that. And he's low to the ground. It's hard to see coming through there. But he's running the ball with conviction right now for the Warrior offense. First down in 10, the give again is to Hicks, and that time he is swarmed upon and brought down. Brought down on the play by Mason Ludwig. WKBN's Big 22 includes the five blocks of granite, which honors the top high school football linemen in the Valley. It's sponsored by the Moransky Companies and Coca's Pizza. Head to WKBN.com and click on sports to see the top high school football players from here in the Valley. The Shields looking to throw. He's flushed from the pocket. The Shields throws it up for grabs, and it is incomplete. It was almost caught. That was a dangerous throw, but Andrew Coffey almost came up with it. Coaches will probably say, maybe don't throw that one up for grabs, but it almost worked out. No question about it. It came out of his hand a little bit weird, and it caused the ball to be a little bit wobbly in its delivery, but throw that one away and play the next play. On fourth down, Hicks trying to get that first down, and I'm not so sure he got it. And it will be, let's see, a turnover on downs, giving it right back. We'll be back after this. Arrive in style with the Cadillac XT5 at Stadium GM in Salem. For the best pizza downtown, visit Avalon Downtown Pizzeria. Dine-in and take-out is available, and delivery is offered for local businesses. Visit our website for new store hours. Call to place your order. Avalon Downtown Pizzeria on Federal Street. As we transitioned into COVID-19, we took a proactive and strategic approach to keeping you, our community, safe. We gained your trust by always being honest and transparent in our communication. As your health system, we commit to always being open and ready to care for you. We will get through this together. At East Liverpool Health System, trust begins here. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. <laughs> And welcome back, West Branch, leading East Liverpool, 43-13. Potters with a couple of runs as we were away. It'll set up a third down and one. As we're inside the final minute, and all the Warrior fans who are here, and I have to say, covering all the various different sports, be it football, basketball, softball, baseball, of course, there are limitations in terms of how many fans can be here. You'd be hard-pressed to find a more supportive group of fans and alumni than those at West Branch. And so they're going to be very happy now as the folks on hand giving a standing ovation. And they're celebrating this season as the final seconds tick on down. And the West Branch Warriors are advancing to the next round in postseason play. They roll past East Liverpool by a final score of 43 to 13. Our post-game coverage will begin when we come back. You're watching the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. Buick Encore, luxury with a purpose at Stadium GM in Salem. The Moransky Companies are proud sponsors of the Five Blocks of Granite and salute all area high school athletes throughout the year. The 
Feast your eyes on our devilish deals. Lease the all-new 2021 K5 LSX and pay only $209 a month for 36 months with zero do-it signing. Zero do-it signing. Our treat is giving you up to $7,000 over KVV fair value towards the purchase of any select 2020 Soretto in stock. That's better than a vampire who lives on a dead-end street. It's time for Taylor and devilish deals at Taylor Kia of Boardman and Hermitage. America's Wholesale Outlet is the area's best-kept secret for name-brand retail goods, wholesale bundles, and new merchandise. View all of our featured items and more at americaswholesaleoutlets.com. You'll never know what you'll find at America's Wholesale Outlet on South Avenue next to the Amish Market. Hi, this is Eric at Satoli Carpet and Floor Covering in beautiful downtown Warren. We'd love to have you come into our showroom to see the latest in carpet and all styles of flooring. Style, selection, saving, Satoli. SatoliCarpet.com. Hi, I'm Steve Burbach, owner-operator of Midway Garage Doors in West Farmington, Ohio. We service in the Trumbull County area and the surrounding areas. Been doing garage doors for 31 years. We're large enough to take care of all your garage door needs, whether it's residential, commercial, industrial, but we're small enough to care about you because we are a family-owned operation. We treat our employees like their family. We love what we do. We're Midway Garage Doors. We sell the best and fix the rest. Count to five. Hello, check. And welcome back to West Branch High School. We're here tonight in Division Four, Region 13. West Branch rolls past East Liverpool by a final score of 43 to 13. Hi again everybody, Chad Krispinski back with you. It's time to select our player of the game. Our player of the game is brought to you by our friends at Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print. Is there any doubt? Brock Hillier, five total touchdowns, 272 through the air, 58 rushing yards. Brock, congratulations on a great performance here tonight. How special is it to keep this season alive and get a huge playoff win? What's it mean to you? Um, it means everything. I mean, as you can see, everyone behind us, they're all hyped because our coaches, but um, it means everything. I'm glad we could. All of our hard work is paying off this year, and it's showing, and we're going to try to keep the ball rolling and do what we do and try to get better each week at practice. So that's the goal going into this next week. This offense has been so impressive through the course of the season. Now 34 points in every game that you have played, and so many different guys are involved. You're leading that offensive group. What makes that unit so potent and so dangerous to opposing defenses? Um, I think the, it makes it potent because you got to cover every, as, every uh, inch of the field when we're out there. So our line that gives, gives me time to throw the ball and our receivers, you know, they all had great plays tonight. We were able to extend the play sometimes. My running back, Alec Wilson, he's doing work out there for me. He, he make, they all, the whole team makes me look good. Tell me about your performance. Assess what you did here tonight. You do it through the air. You do it with your legs. You're getting so many guys involved, and you're putting up numbers that are just eye-popping, sort of like Madden or video game type numbers. Tell me about what makes you tick in terms of playing quarterback at such a high level. Um, stay calm. Never be satisfied is what I try to be. Uh, we're always striving to do better on the next uh, series of offense, and you know, defense gets me the ball back. They had a bunch of turnovers tonight, so I think that I think the whole team helps me. Last thing, and we'll let you go celebrate with your teammates. You don't yet know who your opponent will be next week, but again, to just have that playoff run continue here and know you're going to be playing next Saturday night, what's it mean to you? It means everything. I'm trying to put West Branch back up there, baby. Uh, everyone knows that for the past couple of years, we haven't been quite as good as we'd like to, and this year we're hungry and we're just doing what we do and playing as a team, working together. Congratulations on a great performance and on a great win. All the best through the rest of the playoffs. Thank you very much. That's our player of the game, Brock Hillier. He throws for 272 passing yards, 58 rushing yards, five total touchdowns. Yep, ring that bell. The West Branch Warriors are moving on to the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week.
Check out the all-new GMC Sierra at Stadium GM in Salem. This October, we're helping Mercy Health fight breast cancer in the Valley. For every new Chevy, Buick, or GMC we sell in October, we will donate $50 to the Joni Abdu Comprehensive Breast Care Center at St. Elizabeth Youngstown Hospital. Purchase the all-new 21 Chevy Silverado for 20% off MSRP, or lease the 21 Chevy Silverado as low as $239 a month. Click SweeneyCars.com or stop by Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC. On Market Street in Boardman. It's almost 4 by 4 season at Columbia and Afford, and we've got some great deals to keep you on the road all winter long. Check out this 2016 Ford Escape SE, 15488, or this 2018 F 150 STX for 28888. This 2018 Ram 1500 is 26988, and this 2017 Chevy Silverado 1500, 29968. At Columbia and Afford, we make 4 by 4s affordable. And the celebration is on at West Branch as the Warriors are advancing in postseason play. West Branch a winner by a final score of 43 to 13 over East Liverpool. West Branch advances to face the winner of Ursuline and Villa Angela St. Joe's. With the win, West Branch 7-0. East Liverpool drops to 4-4. Four and four. We hope you've enjoyed this special Saturday night presentation of the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. For all of us here at WKBN, my name is Chad Krispinski telling you once again the final score, West Branch 43, East Liverpool 13. Till next time, so long everybody.